The 2024 Škoda Superb has been introduced internationally and is set to arrive in India sometime next year. It will signal the return of the executive sedan to the nation after it was discontinued earlier this year. The next generation Superb differs significantly from the retired India spec model because to its new modern solid design language. Let's take a look at what are the differences between the two models. Škoda has a reputation for building reliable cars that come with lots of features and a lower price tag than competitors. They've hit almost every segment of the market with multiple options in each available across the full range which is why their models are often compared to each other and you'll wonder which one you really need the Škoda Octavia, on the other hand has been around in various forms since 1996 and is on its fourth generation since then. It also introduced new features for the first time including a heads-up display, two 10-inch displays, wireless smartphone charging, and a new sound system by Canton, to name a few. Let's take a look at both models and see if there's a clear answer to the Škoda Octavia versus Škoda Superb fight. Design The two models have some differences in design, primarily due to the size differences between the two models. The Octavia and 2024 Superb both have huge boots and great standard features. They are also both available as either hatchbacks or estate models. The Škoda Superb is the larger of the two, 180mm longer and 37mm wider in total than the Škoda Octavia which makes a big difference for passengers, particularly in the rear seats. The width of the rear row is 1,519mm compared to the Octavia's 1,444mm which gives much more rear shoulder room. The extra room continues into the boot where the Škoda Superb has 25 liters more than the Škoda Octavia with all seats in use and 205 liters more if the rear seats are down. The styling of the build itself differs between the two. The Superb feels like a refined version of the Octavia, not that there is anything wrong with the design of the Octavia at all, but the angles are sharper and the creases along the front and rear doors are tighter which makes it feel a little more powerful. There's also the chrome side window frames which is a standard on the Superb but doesn't appear until the higher trim levels on the Octavia. Small design choices but enough to be a difference. There are things that are the same in both models though, such as them both having a radiator grill chrome surround or the leather-wrapped steering wheel, Škoda recognizes as a necessity for every model for a continuity across the range. In terms of features you can expect a high standard from both of them. Whilst both have LED headlights, the Octavia offers full LED headlights, LED fog lights, and a rear fog light on one side of the vehicle. In comparison, the Superb has electrically adjustable, heated, folding, and driver-side auto-dimming doors mirrors that have integrated indicators performance and drive both the Škoda Superb and the Škoda Octavia have a number of engine options available, with the former offering 6 and the latter offering 10 in a combination of petrol, diesel, and hybrid. The Superb engines are all a bit punchier, offering 0 to 60 miles per hour times all under 9.5 seconds whilst the Octavia can take up to 10.8 seconds depending on the engine. However, all of the Octavia engine options appear to be more economical on fuel and offer much higher combined MPG than the Superb offerings. Both do, however offer a plug-in hybrid version which is always going to be the better option for fuel economy thanks to the built-in electric motor. Neither is wholly different than the other, or has a full set of features that the other doesn't, but for everyday use there are certainly things that make a difference. As far as standard features go, the Škoda Superb offers front and rear parking sensors and a drive mode selection, which makes it great in the city and motorway alike. Alternatively, the Škoda Octavia includes front assist, lane assist, and full LED headlights which gives more support to you as a driver so that you can focus on what's in front of you.